Hi, Allie Borealis here. Thanks for watching my video today. Uh, welcome in. I do want to say I so appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos. I definitely notice it and I definitely see all of you. I'm excited for the connections that I've made through my channel with all of you and I'm looking forward to making more connections with more of my viewers. So one of your requests is that you really like my unboxing videos. I try to be as informative as I can be with the pieces that I'm finding. I like the deep dive in investigating the pieces and I sure hope that you guys gain some knowledge and information as well. So I have an unboxing video for you and it's from a new place that I haven't seen any other YouTubers do unboxing videos from this place. I'm not gonna reveal just yet where it is because I wanna try out a couple more boxes. Yes, you can tell by my thumbnail that I found gold in this box and I found more than one piece of gold. So I'm gonna order more boxes and we're gonna see uh, if this was just a fluke or if these are actually really great boxes consistently. And if you wanna purchase something you see in any of my videos, the best way to go about that is to email me. Look at all the pretty paper they used to pack this with. I hope this is a good one. We'll just start with this little ring that fell out. That ring is adjustable. It's non-magnetic, but it doesn't look sterling. So we're looking at a four and a half on that ring with the two little blue, uh, this might be glass, but I think they're plastic. Two little stones and it's adjustable. Here's a little, uh, stocking uh, pen that's seen better days. It might have even had some things glued on it. So I'm gonna put that one in crafts. Oh, I was in the Navy. Look at that. I might have to keep that one. Finding things like this always are signs that I'm on the right track. Here's just a bag of heart-shaped, looks like heart-shaped beads, clear beads. So we'll put that in crafts. This looks like it's still in the original packaging, but we don't know because it's been cut up so much. I don't know what brand that was. I want to investigate this a little more. Let me cut this off of here. And see what we're looking at. Okay, <clears throat> it looks like it's just a single chain that might be uh, sold like in a craft supply store, jewelry making store, because it needs some, uh, it needs a clasp on it, but it's brand new. Here's another little ring. I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, maybe it says Wisconsin. It says WI. I wonder, I'll have to look at that more. <laughs> Let me just get you a size on it. Now, hysterically enough, I couldn't tell what this said until I watched the video and it was so apparent that it says ET and the WI is a TM. It's a size four. I couldn't find another ring like it. So we're just gonna do $2 on that one. Here we have this dainty, uh, heart bracelet. It looks like there might be some writing on it. Let me check. <laughs> well, would you look at that? That says 14 karat Italy, but I want to double check. So I'm going to start with my magnet. Oh, that is non-magnetic. Well, the clasp, but there's a little spring in there. So, so sometimes those clasps are magnetic. That would be crazy if I found some gold in here. Uh, let me just do a little test on it. 
can you see that heart, that little heart again on the clasp right there? That is where the information is. And the clasp also has a 14K stamp. So this is looking pretty good. That says 14K Italy. I'm just gonna do a little test on it and kind of see what we have here. Looks good so far. Okay, it's stamped 14 carats, so we're gonna try the 14K on it. I just did a really light scratch, but I think it'll be fine if it's actually 14K. And I like to look through my loop at it. <laughs> it is staying, that is staying. That is a 14 karat bracelet. Oh my, it's like the fourth item I pulled out of here, the fifth item. That's terrific. I'm glad I took a chance on this new place. Wow, for reals, for reals, for reals. What a sweet little bracelet. You could almost monogram something on those little hearts too. Bonus. Look how sweet it is. So this is for someone that has a larger wrist because it's measuring at a size nine. It could possibly even be an ankle bracelet. So I'm gonna do $95 for my viewers. Now we have this one that was kind of tangled up with it. This one's broken, but let me just investigate it. Sometimes these little name ones are gold, but this is clearly costume. Yeah, that, it feels very hard. Uh, and gold is soft. So this is broken, I'm just gonna put it in crafts, unless somebody wants this little Jesse part of it. You're welcome to that. This is, oh, that's got a ring on it. That's a magnet. Oh, it's a red hat. It's one of those red hat magnets. It looks like it still has the, the, the wrapper on it. Here's a ring. I think that's, yeah, that's costume, but I'll give you a um, size on it. Like 6.25, it just has some little kind of etchings on it. I don't see any marks. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, that's an earring. Look at that little earring. Oh, I see, they dangle like that. I've never seen this before this style of earring. Let me see if there's any marks on this. Nope, just costume. We'll see if we have a match on that. Oh, look, that really unhooks too. I wish there were some marks. Like these could be little diamonds, but I don't think they are. More of the bag. That's just a single butterfly bead. No marks on that. That's definitely crafts right there. It's a pretty little crafts bead. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I thought maybe that was sterling, but I don't think that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a dragon. I see it. It's a little dragon. It has seen some better days, so we're gonna put that in crafts. Okay, that's crafts. Have a single, we'll see if there's a match on that. Here's another single, a little 1950s, kind of marbleized look. Here's a ring. It is missing a couple of stones. It's one of those stretchy ones. So I'm gonna put that in crafts because it's missing a, like four or five little stones. It's an earring tangled in there. Oh, I see. Oh, this one's broken. It sure is. So we're just gonna put that in crafts. That is also crafts. 
Not sure what that's supposed to be, but that's crafts as well. Uh, this is a watch, but uh, it's it's missing its clasp. Geneva. So we're gonna put that in crafts. It's very pretty though. Has kind of a little Victorian look to it. Uh, we have a bunch of these little beads. Oh, this unfortunately is broken as well. It almost looks like Malor, but I don't think it is. Malor is a company in Italy that makes jewelry, but they also patented a process that makes the jewelry more durable and scratch resistant. Here are some pictures that I pulled from eBay. Now they'll do this process on bronze and gold. That one says 14 karat. You know, you can see that they look similar to uh, the one that I pulled out. And then I saw this that says it's, this one's 14K gold electroform in a resin core. So I know when I see the Malore stamp that I just need to take some extra time and really inspect it to know what I'm looking at. The pieces do look and feel a little different than if it hadn't gone through that process. That's broken. Yeah, not sterling. Oh, this has, oh, that's a little Leah Sophia, but we'll see if we have a match on that earring. Oh, here's another <clears throat> chain like this one, but it's, it's just uh, for crafting. I wonder what brand that is. I think it's the same brand, but let's check it out. It says blue moon. So it's a blue moon chain that you can make other jewelry with. Oh, we do have the match on that Leah Sophia. Lily Sophia's. Oh, these are wine. That's what these are. These are for your wine glasses. It's making a little more sense now. That's what those are. They look very kind of Christmassy. This is a, a huge, chunky, oh, it's broken. Which is no surprise, there's a lot of broken things in here. But I'm fine with that because of that 14 karat bracelet. I'm not complaining about the broken. Okay, we'll check on that one. You know, I think I started with a dirty mat. Now, I'm curious about this chain right here. Oh my, we have a lot of little brokens here. Oh, there's the necklace that they're broken from, right there. Oh, a little Jingle Bell Christmas necklace. I always get curious with these uh, necklaces that look like they could be sterling or gold and they're really tangled and sometimes I think the locations just don't wanna take the time to untangle them. And sometimes they're valuable. But let's see what we have. Making a little progress. Oh, we have an earring stuck in there. Let's see if that frees anything up. Oh, 
Okay. We have this one. Wouldn't that be great if that was white gold? But let's check it out. Non-magnetic. We like that. I'm going to check this clasp. Oh, it does have a little mark on it. What does it say? Oh my gosh, it is. It is white gold. <laughs> I just had a hunch about it. I just had a hunch. It says 14K on that stamp right there. It sure does. It sure does. Wow. We're liking it, we're liking it, we're liking it. This is a dainty chain necklace that measures 18 inches and is stamped 14K. And for my viewers, I'm gonna do $120. I don't think this one is just because, I mean, this might've been added, but that doesn't look uh, gold. No marks, but let's see what the chain says. Wow, I'm definitely going to be ordering more boxes from this place. Oh, it's a weird, I think it, I think a jump ring is missing because that's really tiny to kind of hook into there. But let me check it. No, this is costume. It's not sterling. We're taking a break for animals to see where my cat's sleeping today. There's cutie. There's my cutie. He's having a good time in the sun. What a great picture. We are two for 14 carat in this box. That's just a real treat. You know, sometimes I just really want to tell you, I get boxes that are so bad that I won't even make a video on them. That I go, th that, and I've, there are boxes that I have spent a fortune on from like new places that I'm trying out and, and I regretfully went in the hole. So this is a Betsy Johnson, still with a tag on it, but it's missing. You know, you've got a stone missing here. Oh, that was one of the pink ones. That's what it is. It was right there, but it's still missing stuff. Um, so this is really just a, a craftsy piece, if anybody wants it. Yeah, it's seen some better days for Miss Betsy. And this looks like one of her newer pieces or even her, you know, her older pieces are just divine and um some of her newer pieces i think just don't have the quality of some of her older pieces but i've sold some of her older pieces for very good money i'll just show you this comp real quick i sold this betsy johnson keeping up with the critters leopard bracelet about a year ago now i paid ten dollars and 88 cents for this bracelet and it sold for 78 dollars oh here's some more of the chain things we have another one with the uh, green enamel, it looks like, on it. Ah, here's a little stretchy bracelet. I don't think it's missing any stones. Oh, but it, no. It might have some discoloration right there. No, maybe, oh, I think it does. Like, maybe if you just clean it. Uh, here's a single earring. Sometimes these are, these lever backs are gold or sterling, but this one is heavily magnetic, so that's a no. Oh, that's a Napier, an old Napier pearl earring, because it says patent pending on the back, so we know it's older. Oh, here's a little, isn't that Disney, believe? Maybe not. Maybe it's not. No, it looks like it's a church. This is interesting. Huh. No brand, but it's very pretty. 
It's a bold statement style bracelet with a magnetic clasp. Let's see if this has a brand. I don't think it does, but it looks like it's in good shape. <clears throat> it looks like all of the stones are on this one. Okay, I need to take a break and go to the dentist, but I'll be back. All right, I am back from the dentist and I flipped my mat around so we're not seeing that stain. And let's see where we're at with things. We do have uh, this pair of little crystal earrings. So we found a match on those. And we have another pair of earrings. <clears throat> no marks. These maybe have seen better days. They do have quite a bit of wear on them. I might just put those in crafts um, unless somebody really wants them. Let's see this one. This might be uh, gold or sterling. Maybe, maybe not. Where are my tools? Oh no, that's way magnetic. Nope. <laughs> Look at that octopus ring. It has a stretch back. It's very cute though. I don't think it's missing any stones. Maybe one or two, maybe, no, I don't think it is. Uh, it does have a little bit of wear, but you know, it's fantastic, I think. So cute. He's got a little fish. He caught a fish. <laughs> Let's see what that is. That's unusual. It's something that's broken. Okay, that's crafts. Pretty, pretty crafts. We have another pair of earrings, just some hoops. Oh, there's a little stud. Non-magnetic. Take a look at it. No, that's definitely costume. No. Oh. Cuff link. Oh, here's a pretty enamel ring. Where's my sizer? We are looking at about a size nine. It's a large ring. You could even wear that one on maybe your thumb. Right? That fits on my thumb. How pretty. We have this pair, has a little bit of wear. Here's a ring. This also has some wear on it. This uh, definitely not sterling. Let's see if it has any marks though. No marks, but we're gonna give you a size on it. It is uh, about a six. Hmm. Dream. Sachi, Sachi. It's a nice little Sachi metal bookmarker. Hmm. Non-magnetic. Let's see if that's sterling. Oh, it is. It is stamp 925. I'll give you a size on that one. It's a seven, but it, you know, it's got uh, some expansion in there. So this is a sterling Irish clatter ring with an onyx center, and I'm gonna do $10 for my viewers. We have these two uh, kind of wire balls. I think those are crafts, they're definitely not gold. That looks maybe like Coro, but it looks like it's missing a lot of stones and it has a little bit of verdigris right there but let's see what the back says. Oh yeah, 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 that's definitely Coro. That's probably going into crafts unless I can find another one. These are interesting. They do have some wear, but they're not magnetic. They just look older. I don't think they're sterling. And then we have this little ring, just an adjustable ring, non-magnetic. Okay, we have this little pair, no marks. We have this little brooch, <clears throat> just uh, plastic, blue plastic. 
We have this watch. What is this? Let me see what brand that says. Uh, Tresca? It's really different. I'm gonna have to research this one a little bit. I've never seen a watch like this. It's missing this, but that's a real easy fix. Oh, you know what? This little blue one came off. I bet it goes right there. I bet it goes right there. And then we just need a big, a bigger stone right there. How unusual. I love this Chinese coin at the bottom. It just needs a little TLC and I'm not sure the working condition. So I'm gonna do $8 on it. Here's a single. It seems really uh, moldable, so I'm wondering if that's sterling. Oh yeah, it is. It says 925 and then there are some initials in there. 925 L-A-C-N. I wonder if we have the other one. Let's check out this little gold one. This says 925 S-U-S-H and then CZ for cubic zirconia. So that's sterling and a CZ. I don't know what S-U-S-H is, but I'll check it out. Maybe we'll have the match on that one. Couple more things. We have a little match here. Uh, little sand dollar earrings. I did find the other one on these lever backs. We have some little lock and key earrings in yellow. Uh, I thought these were really pretty, these little ballet charms. Little toe shoes. We have this necklace, but it appears to be broken. So that'll be a crafts. Uh, this is another that has seen better days. I don't think it's broken, but it doesn't seem as functional as it once was. You could probably like cut these off, these little faux leather ones and untangle it. This is broken and that doesn't look like gold. It is non-magnetic. Oh, I know what this is. The bracelet has some writing right here and it says Americaner. I've encountered this before and I talked about it in my Canada video. Americaner was a line of nine carat double rolled gold jewelry founded by Frederick Spidell and it later became the Spidell Company. So that's a little information on this bracelet, but it's broken. So we're just gonna put it into crafts. Oh, here seems to be more of those chains for jewelry making. This one maybe has seen better days though. Here's an expandable that's a little loose, so I'm probably just gonna put that one in crafts. The elastic is stretched out. So I got this one untangled and of course it's crafts. It's so shredded, but wow, does it have some pretty beads on it? If anyone wants that one. Look how gorgeous those pink beads are. And this is one of the things it was tangled with and this has seen better days. So I'm gonna put that one in crafts. And this one's crafts too, because it's missing a couple of little rhinestones. And then we have this long tassel one that's a little frayed, but I was curious because it has a tag on it. Zakasha? Zakasha? So I did get this combed out for all of you. It looks much better. And I noticed too that most of the beads are silver, but then there are two sections that have like a bronze color. So I'm just gonna do $5 on this necklace. Okay, we have a match on some dangly earrings. Um, you can tell by the backs that they're vintage. No brand. We have this necklace, but it's broken. We have this necklace that looks like it's full of cogs. I don't see any brand on it. It's pretty unique. 
So there's that little cog necklace, very industrial. And then I'm curious about this wad. That looks like it could have some gold or sterling in it and I'm eager to untangle it. So let's see what we have in this wad. Okay, we got this one that's kind of a dog tag style, but this is really worn out. It's seen better days. And then we have this one, but I noticed one of the shells is chipped. So we're gonna put that one in crafts. Keep working on this. Okay, we have this pair of earrings that are little hearts. And then, interestingly enough, I have two of these. I, don't, I guess they were maybe part of a necklace that came undone. That's magnetic. But I think they're nice for crafts. Okay, we have one untangled. It doesn't feel like it's gold or sterling, but let me just look at it closer. Now that's definitely magnetic. Sometimes somebody will put like a real gold pendant on a costume necklace. Yeah, this, this uh, doesn't look gold. That's magnetic. So that's just a sweet little uh, costume pendant on a silver colored chain. I just feel like this is sterling. But maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. I could be completely wrong on that. And looking at it, if this is the class, then this is not sterling because this is a more of a costume style. Yay! All right, let's take a look. I have to wonder, maybe this is sterling because that looks tarnished. And this is maybe an extender they added, right? Take that off for now. And hook this like that. And then I'm going to take a look at this. Okay. I don't see any 925 marks on it. I'm going to put this back on. Um, and the ring itself is stamped in R, which is one of the codes for Avon so this could be just like an, an Avon necklace and pendant I'm having trouble untangling these but you know they're magnetic and they're costume and one of them even looks uh, maybe broken so I'm just gonna put these in crafts that is broken so I was thinking that, you know, I've, I've gotten two gold pieces out of here so far and that's fantastic. So I'm gonna order another box. And if there's gold in that one, then I know, wow, okay, these boxes are really, really good. If there's not gold, then I'm at a 50-50 on it. Maybe they are really good, maybe they're not, I don't know. So it's, it's probably gonna take three boxes for me to really gauge about this place. We have this pretty one with all these nice kind of caramelly colors. I don't see a brand on it, but it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. This one I think is rolled paper maybe, but it's super stretched out. So we're gonna put that one in crafts, some colorful crafts. And we have this terrific pair of sterling earrings. The backs are stamped 925 MWS Thailand. And the MWS is for Mark Wasserman Samara. I did find a little blurb on the company, the gist being that he was one of the first companies to sell sterling jewelry to specialty stores in the United States after a visit to Taxco, Mexico in the 1970s. So I'm gonna do $15 for my viewers for these sterling earrings. And then we have this one that looks like it has a hang tag on it. Let's see what it says. Oh, this hangs kinda of in the front of it. Oh, 
Oh, it's a Chico's. I think one day Chico's is going to be very sought after in their jewelry because most of their pieces are very well made and and kind of, you know, bolder statement pieces. But I get for right now, while Chico's is still in business, you know, it's I've sold plenty of Chico's stuff. And um, it does fare, but not as high in price as I would expect for the quality of some of their pieces. I did notice one of the beads on this dangle in front is missing. So I'm just gonna do a dollar on the necklace. Okay, we have a couple more. I was really curious about this gray one. I, I know it needs to be kind of like shaken out a little bit, but let's see what this tag says on it. I am curious if I order more boxes. Oh, this is a Charming Charlie's. I'm curious if I order more boxes, um, if they'll have some of the earring matches in it. I still think this is super pretty. It's just, uh, it has a unique look to it. And I love the gray and the gold. And uh, it looks really clean, like it was maybe only worn a couple of times. So we're gonna do $5 on this one. I got this one untangled. I think this is sterling and it has some little bins in it. So this would obviously be just for um, meltdown. Yeah, it's stamped 925. And this appears to have a tag on it too, a hang tag. Let's see what we're doing here. Oh, I get it. It goes that way. It goes that way. Look how pretty. Let's see what this hang tag is. Oh, this is NY. New York and Company necklace. Also $5. All right, we're getting through it here. So these are the last few salvageable pieces I have, and they're all New York and Company. So this one is $5, and then this lovely blue, clear, and yellow one is $5, and then the last one has some really pretty pink AB beads on it, and it's also $5. So what'd you guys think? Put it in the comments, and I'll be making other videos as I order more boxes from this place, and we'll get a good overview. I did notice that this box was listed as a, a crafts box, so that's why I had so many pieces in there that were crafts or scrap. Thanks so much for joining me today.